I'm Stephen Lee with Baldwin's Best Lawn Service, and this is our brand new steel BR800. What's up, Seashell Addicts? Jeff here. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different than the other videos. Um, it's just not appropriate right now to go seashell hunting or metal detecting on the beach. There's just a lot of cleanup that needs to be happening from Hurricane Sally. I'm here with my friend Stephen Lee, who is currently driving right now, and he owns Baldwin's Best Lawn Care. And I'm gonna show you guys just some video of like what storm cleanup looks like after a hurricane. So that's kind of what the video is about today. Stephen's got all these different uh, possibilities when it comes to cleaning a yard. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to that. Steven, looking forward to showing us a little bit what, we, what we're gonna do today? I wish I could show you a little more, but I went yeah. to the emergency room yesterday. Yeah, so yesterday Steven almost cut his uh, thumb off, which honestly would have been better if he did that today for the video. <laughs> right. But unfortunately he did it yesterday. So we're uh, heading to one of his spots right now. We're getting up close on it and we're gonna kind of show you guys what everybody's doing. Just to kind of give you guys an idea of the destruction. This is literally on every person's home uh, that lives around in this area. You can see these massive trees that have just fallen onto the golf course. So everybody lives on a golf course here, but pretty much anywhere you can see just down here, there are just trees falling everywhere. So pretty freaking crazy, man. Um, this is something that um, these guys are working on, cutting down and moving to the street uh, for to be picked up later on. Yeah, see that? Look at that nasty ass spider right there. Oh shit. <laughs> so one ahead. of the things we got to do is like, even though these weeds are not storm cleanup, people are really looking for like that sense of relief. Like, okay, things are pretty, they're back to normal. So we just go ahead and do a little extra stuff like this and run across it just to give them that wow factor. To me, it's 100% worth it. Cause uh, I know I'm on a mission to like get rid of every pine tree in Baldwin County cause they all fail and cost all the disaster, but. Yeah. So this is a pretty normal pile that's just ending up on the front of the road. And this is all along this area. This is all just one house right here. And they're not even done yet. They still have like nine or ten trees they gotta take down. But as you can tell, like there is just a ton of debris. Now I'm just gonna show you guys real quick kind of the roots here and how they're kind of falling out of the, the ground. And then the next thing you'll see is timber! This tree getting taken out. As you can tell, the roots right here are all kind of coming out uh, from this tree, and it's actually a real big danger. So it's it is literally leaning uh, towards the house here. So they're gonna take this tree out of commission. So, uh, Zach, tell them what you're doing up there. Trying to decide where to cut this at. And what makes that decision? Safest way, keep it from hitting the house. I have to move these here. Okay. So what we have here is we have a hardwood tree that needs to come down. What we try to do is we try to do everything we can to save hardwood trees. However, when you're very low to uh, sea level, the water table is higher. So instead of the roots going down and out, they just kind of go out. 
Uh, so they're very shallow roots, number one. Number two, very sandy soil. And number three, that sandy soft soil got saturated with water. So what's happening is the wind was blowing the tree this way and on the back side over there, you'll be able to see where the roots are actually sticking out of the ground. So you're only, you know, you could be a thunderstorm away, which is gonna happen tomorrow from this tree falling on that house. So that's why we're gonna go ahead and knock this one out. Right now, uh, we've done six or seven so far in the last two or three days, and then we've got probably another 12 that we haven't even gotten to that we've like quoted, and probably another 10 that we need to quote. So, just letting y'all know that the scale of needing to get this done is massive. Uh -huh. 